blind buying the most popular fragrances of 2019. We're gonna start and dive right in with Carolina Herrera's Bad Boy. It looks like a lightning bolt. It has citrus in it, a little pepper, and sage, which is an earthy, herbaceous note. It's known to clear negative energy. That's what I love about some of these fragrances that have essential oils that actually do something. It has some cedar wood, some cacao, and tonka bean. It's very prominent, almost a gourmand. It's very sweet, yokeful, and it's got a very good marketing with this lightning bolt bottle, the gold base. It's very sturdy. When you spray it out, it comes out like this. It's a nice, sensual, elegant fragrance as well as being a little bit wild with the bottle, calling it bad boy. It smells awesome right at the opening. It only gives you projections of 90 minutes, very easily 90 minutes strong, and then it calms down. The lasting power was four to five hours on me, so the performance isn't there, but that was off three sprays. If you try to spray it more, you might get a lot more performance. Maybe try eight to 12 sprays. It comes out like a big fan of dust like that, and if you do it slower, it comes out like an old school water gun. So there's differences in the application. If you were to compare this with something cheaper, we would consider Eau de Iceberg Sandalwood from 2013. This has the cedar wood. This uses vetiver, this uses sage, but a very similar, I sprayed it on here. It's almost identical in scent to this for the price. You can't go wrong, same performance, 15 bucks for the iceberg sandalwood. Next up, we're gonna go with Tiffany and Love. It's got an and sign there that says Tiffany and Love for him, that's for men. A three ounce bottle. I've noticed on the websites, I've seen 1.6 ounce bottles for $106 at the department stores in the United States. Also found you a big bottle on the Amazon link down below. You can click on it. Tiffany and Love has ginger, which is kind of a spicy note used in Asian cooking. It comes out a delicious sprayer that comes out like this. It's a delicious fragrance. I mean, it smells really good. It's easy to wear. You can blind buy this and get away with it. The problem might be that you don't like a three hour fragrance. It lasts three hours, but you will smell amazing on it. It's got a mandarin, orange-like note in it. It's got cypress. What is cypress? It's a therapeutic essential oil that's good for your skin. It also has some juniper, which is sweet. You think about sweet, fresh, and crisp, invigorating fragrance. Also has some cardamom in it, which is a sweet, woody, nutty, and a vetiver and sandalwood to make it slightly creamy. And all in all, it's a great fragrance. Both of these fragrances can be found for $14.95 with the sample sprays. It comes out perfectly at bestbrandsperfume.com if you ever wanted to sample it and you'll be helped supporting your channel. When blind buying most popular fragrances, you also want to consider the color of the fragrance. For instance, that Tiffany is like a light blue. You think a light blue, light blue skies, fresh days like that. Then you also have this next item, which is called Tom Ford Metallic. So you think about metallic, which is has, this fragrance has Hawthorne. It just came out in 2019. Hawthorne is a berry type tree. It gives a strong, sweet note at first, mixed with aldehyde to give it that metal feel. It's got some florals and vanilla and creamy sandalwood in it as well. It's got thorn apple, which is also called Jimson weed. And at night, these Jimson weeds bloom and become very sweet and fragrant. And they extract that note when it's sweet and fragrant because in the daytime, when the morning comes, they, they get all wilted and turn and smell like feet, but they extract it at the right time. It also has some black balsam resin, almost like a liqueur type note in there. And a heliotrope, what are heliotropes are like those blue, you think of blue or purple flowers. So all that, it's a nice powdery sandalwood for the confident, more mature man or woman. Tom Ford Metallics running at about 195 for these big bottles. It comes out silver bottle, gold cap, sprays out nice like that. Very pleasant to wear, long lasting, or you can sample it at Best Brands Perfume and this cool little atomizer too, it's like $20. This list is produced from good to great this list if you were to type in most popular fragrances of 2019 you'll get fragrances made in 2012 2013 you'll get all kinds of fragrances these are mostly 2018 2019 releases and this is a 2018 release called polo red rush this has lavender grapefruit mandarin in it it's got saffron and pineapple it just smells delicious all ages approved young to old 19 and up 
It's very cool, sparkling and energetic. It just makes you feel good. It even has red apple because the red part and the rush part, why they call it red rush, it's got some coffee notes mixed with that orange blossom. What is orange blossom? It's an orange note. Think about orange cream soda, kind of like that note. To give it some uniqueness, it's more unique than all the other Polo Reds. It does smell similar to Polo Red, but far better. It's probably the best one out there. Price at Sephora Stores United States for $4.2 is $105 or a similar scent cheaper. It's very good. You got this one. French Connection 3. This is what the box looks like. It looks like it says a bad word. F-C-U-K-3. You spray this out of this square bottle and it looks like that. Both of the, this has about four hours performance. This has about six hours performance. That's the difference. This costs about 15 bucks. This French Connection 3 has pineapple, lavender, and musk. This has pineapple, lavender, and musk. A suitable alternative to this one. Similar scent, cheaper. We made it to the halfway mark. We've got five fragrances left. Climbing up to the best, most popular fragrance for 2019. If you were to blind buy it, and what do they smell like? What do they make you feel like? By the way, if you're new here, my name is Christian O. You've landed on this channel. It's called Best Brands Perfume. If you want to smell better for less, if you want to connect with fragrance lovers down in the comments below, and if you just want to discuss all things fragrances related and learn about similar scents cheaper as well I'd expect that you would subscribe and also check out playlists playlist has over 200 videos all nicely organized click on playlist and binge watch today now we got the compliment getters coming up right now starting with the world's most hated fragrance on internet blogs but it's a very good fragrance called Dolce Gabbana K lemon and juniper berry in it it's woody aromatic with sanguine what is sanguine it's another word for blood oranges. The oranges that have the red flesh that's mostly found in the bases of Italian volcanoes. You spray this out like this. It's lemon juniper berry, which is sweet. It's fresh, it's exhilarating. It has some florals from geranium, clean lavender scent, and it's very highly complimented. It's a very mass appealing fragrance. Mass appealing means eight out of 10 people will like it. Women absolutely love this smell. The price of this is like $95 in the store for the big bottles. A lot of the fragrance experts say that it's a boring, ununique fragrance. Maybe they're right, but it smells good and gets you lots of compliments. Performance is respectful. If you want something similar scent cheaper, try Bogart Story Green. It has geranium, vetiver, wood. Very similar in the middle and the ending as this. Bogart Story Green is like 16 bucks. We go back to 2017. This is 212 VIP Black. I'm trying to get my hands on a newer one. They have a 212 VIP Black something else, but this is the one I got. Very comforting, sweet, green, and creamy fragrance. Herbal scent. It's like at once they go spicy and then it turns sweet and fresh and confuses you and it's so easy to wear. 212 VIP. Lavender in the middle and then it has this vanilla cool ending. Luna Rosa Sport. 50% similar to this as well. This is probably about the exact same prices, but just to give you an idea of what it smells like, I highly recommend 212 VIP Black. As we move up to the top of the list, you have Blind Buying the Most Popular Fragrances of 2019. Mont Blanc Explorer keeps climbing on all the blogs too, way up to the top. At first it was like a hidden gem, no one even talked about it. Now it's one of the most popular fragrances. It's got a nice lemony, fresh citronella type opening. It's very herbaceous and green, similar to the opening of Aventus. It's got some sage in it, which is like a minty note. Sage is also an essential oil, which is used in many cultures as healing, like good for pain and other healing type properties it has. It's got the patchouli, cacao, and ambroxan. Patchouli is a wet, earthy soil scent. All in all, this is a fabulous blind buy fragrance. I approve you to blind buy it. It smells very good, very massively feeling. You will get compliments with it. You can wear it with any type of outfit in any type of situation all year long. Mont Blanc Explore it's called. Next up, we're moving up way up to the top. The best, some of the best, most popular fragrances on this list. This one's called Code Absolute by Giorgio Armani. Green mandarin apple inside it. A little bit creamy with an orange undertone made from the orange blossoms. The orange blossom kind of reminds me of a creamy orange soda. It's also got rum, suede, and tonka. Tonka is more prominent throughout here, but they also have one called Armani Co Profuma. The tonka in that fragrance is more powerful than the one in this one. This is a more calmed down version of Armani Co Profumo. 
Ultimately, this smells superb. It lasts a great long time. It gets tons of compliments. It's just a fabulous fragrance with some sugar cane and... So question of the day is, what do you think is the most popular fragrance of 2019 is? Whether it's from 2012 or through 2019, what's the most popular fragrance according to you? Comment down below, I'll comment right back. And this fragrance here is on all the lists when you type in what's the most popular fragrance ever. Sauvage, which is a beautiful, long lasting, awesome sprayer fragrance that just gets huge compliments, huge performance, huge scent silage, which means the scent the scent trail and the projection is off the charts. This would be the number one fragrance, but this is just a shout out because this came out several years ago. It's called Dior Sauvage. And the number one fragrance is blind buying. You can blind buy safely. You call this Yves Saint Laurent Y Live. Oh, intense. You look at the box, it says Y Live. Here it says Eau de Toilette Intense. I call it Y Live Intense. It has grapefruits, pear in it, delicious fruits. In the very few first few moments, it's very fruity and sweety. Instantly, you will like it. It has some citrus blossoms in it, which like fruity, creamy citruses with the sweet notes. You think about Y, the old Y, if you're ever familiar with that. Ultimately, this is fresher and more sweet. Gives you a dry down, a very clean, fresh, woody feeling. And it's got sweet nuances of vanilla and cacao, the chocolatey type note. Wear this all year long, daytime, nighttime, daytime. 